It's showtime. The D-Rock 100, and welcome back to more of Pokemon Coliseum. Last time, we had a bit of a miraculous encounter with Miracle B, and despite my loss, I had a bit of a humiliating hit away. Hey, that was so fun! I kept it in the video and just for your guys' entertainment. <laughs> anyway, and after all of that shenanigans, we arrived down here into the under. Seriously, can I just call this place the underwear? Like, I can't, whatever. This time, we're going to do a little bit of some exploring around down here in the under. If there's a Coliseum that you want him to go to, you can ride that UFO there. You do, you do have the operating discs, right? Alright, then there's no problem, is there? Well, sort of. Oh my god. That's a problem. What's the hold up? It should be here by now. Okay. Let's take the out of here more hip to the two down the way, Pyrite House theme. Uh, let's see. The spies that snuck into the under. It's gotta be. Am I right or am I right? Uh, nope. I don't think so. Right, you don't look like any spies to me. Nope, just your average Joe. Venus is very cautious. Except for her TV appearance, she is rarely seen. Yeah, with an appearance like that, I can't blame her. Uh, let's see. Is there anything of use around here? Not quite. Who are you? Trainer, did you come here to enter a Coliseum Hunt Challenge? I guess. <laughs> I don't mean any offense, but you don't exactly look tough. I'll try to see it in how long you can battle. Alright. That's fine. Ah, eh, tough can you be? Okay, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> okay. But you know what? I think we'll be just fine. And holy crap, I never got a chance to heal you guys, did I? I did not want to take any chances to pull with that stupid deal my problem over there. I really want to try to conserve as much of the money as I have, so. The worst case scenario is this should happen, and then I'll go away, but. Yeah. Double slap. Heard that was kind of in an OP move for the, in the re-release of uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. It's been a while since I played that game. You know what? Now that I'm kind of thinking about it a little bit more, why have they been constantly been sitting on the idea of more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and just specials? Like a, I, okay, I know there was a mostly meant to be used to, as like a startup hitter for something that's new to the series, but I really like that idea. Maybe I'm probably thinking about it a little too much, and I probably might be grasping at straws on that, but I guess to be fair, I was something with that for the original and even explorers of. Time and darkness in terms of what it is. But anyway, just something that I really want to touch up on because I really, really like this idea. Ah, shop it to surviving that. Not cool. Alright. Oh, come 
on! Not cool, dude. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. He was almost not close to that until the out, so that's good. I swear to God, if that's like, what, five experience points on the left, I'm gonna flip. this vending machine from earlier. Alright, you know what? I'm curious. Oh, okay, 45. That's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um... Yeah, let's bring you guys to the front. And I think I might do a little bit of a switch up. Especially since enough for what's gonna be coming up pretty soon. This way. Just right through here. Don't mind me. Hey, spies! Says he's spies! Spies! Oh, wait, that can't be right. Those spies will look much stronger. Sorry, my mistake. Well, screw you two! Whenever calls him and challenge gets to meet Lady Venus in person and receive a shadow Pokemon. One day I'm going to enter and get me a shadow Pokemon. For that Ah right. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. How bad can you be? <laughs> okay. I know that that's pretty much like gonna pretty much bite me in the butt later, but you know what? You have a freaking magic carb and a, and a bee bass. They're practically useless. Unless they got some kind of big buff and they have in this particular game. But well I guess I'll never know for the bee bass. <laughs> Alright. Real Lord! Okay, never mind. We got a beached whale. <laughs> I guess we'll never know for the magic carp either. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, I knew that whale lord was massive in XD, but. J oh! Yes! 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 Ooh, give me that, Saibi! This is gonna make my second type moves all the more powerful. How about a flinch? It'd be great. Well, that took way longer than it probably should have. Oh well. Not my problem! Get out of here! We're gonna get a lot of HP from this one. Aww. It became much more uh, dense uh, than air. I'll never become the kind of champ if I'm losing here. Yeah! It's Colin Hoop using a magic arm and a fee bass! How about you evolve those? 
I shoot it. I'm not giving up until I win at the Coliseum. Get me a shadow Pokemon of my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cry me a river. Here's a cringe how I recently joined something called a kid's grid. Since then, I get this feeling that parts of it have been slowly disappearing from the shop. You know, there used to be a mining town. The junk shop's owner used to be the train driver. But where is the railroad supposed to be in the under? I've never seen it. Hmm. Lou? Oh, sheesh, what should I do? I have to make a delivery, but I'm still not done cleaning. Hey, wait. Wow, aren't you Wes and Yuki? Huh? How do you know who we are? I thought so. This makes things easy. Please, can I get you to deliver this part to Nets' house? But, wait. Just to note that it's not from Pierre. He'll tell you the details. Nets' house is the one with a big rotating antenna dish. You know which one is as soon as you see it. Well, this... is unusual. Kind of... Oh, uh, Venus. What is your situation? Well, a couple mice appear to be running loose in Ascour, but it's nothing to worry about. Don't be silly, hey there, buddy. Mice don't exist in this game. We'll catch them right away, pulverize, and mash them up. <laughs> Fine. The priority and is to distribute the Shadow Pokemon. Don't forget. As you wish, Ein. Wait, that's it. As you wish, Ein. Hurry. Complete the Shadow Pokemon's development as soon as possible. Your trust will not be misplaced, Master Nascor. Already, sufficient Shadow Pokemon <laughs> battle data has been gathered from our minions. By Masterpiece, the most powerful Shadow Pokemon in history shall soon be ready. Good. I'll be waiting for good news. That is all. Now, it is time we return to the lab and put on the finishing touches. Come, back to the lab. Yes, sir. Not again. I don't like that guy. It'll become important for something a little bit later. Um, actually, right now that I'm kind of thinking about it, what is my salary in your mess? Uh, you know what? I kind of take that back a little bit. I might as well. I had a little bit more money than I thought. Alright. So now that we finally got that out of the way... Go over this way. Uh, you. You brought me the power-up part from Pier? Great! I was waiting for that. Huh? Are you... Are you THE Wes and Yuki? Oh, wow, this is too awesome! Come on, you have to get inside. Quick, quick! Whoa! With all this crazy techno gear, these guys probably don't sleep much. Net! You won't him believe who just dropped in for a visit. We've got some shocking company. Shocking company? Try not to be too shocked when you hear it. It's Wes and Yuki! No, really? Bit, is that true? Is that Wes really here? <laughs> See for yourself. Hi, I'm Net. Second Pyrite has told me about her what you have been doing so far. Oh, this is from Pierre. Great. This is all that I need to get the kids' grade back up and running again. Okay. Net is a genius. He's been gathering all sorts of data off the crooks. My big brother Net managed to get a little bit of data out of Cypher's computers. The data says that there's a lab somewhere that makes Shadow Pokemon. Yo. Yeah. 
Anything? I better explain. A little while ago, we got uh, we somehow lost access to the kids' grid. I think it's caused by a jamming sound that is interfering with the kids' grid. It's probably Venus is doing. But this power apart you delivered will let me boost up our equipment. If we get the kids' grid back up, I'll try to hack their computer for more useful data. Okay. Oh, Wes, wait, please. May I have your PDA number? We'll contact you as soon as we discover anything. Thank you. We'll do our best to gather useful information for you. The spy! We spotted the spy! Uh oh. Uh, hey buddies, what you doing? Yeah. Don't mind me. All right, do you have anything of good use for us in here? Oh yeah, right, oh god. Unfortunately, we do not have any balls. Here. Um, how am I on those? Hmm. Well, I guess given the way things are, I guess I'll have to do. I'm sure I'll be able to get out of here soon enough. Uh, hi. Look over there, in front of the elevator. We finally found a spy. I guess that deactivates it sort of for when I don't get on there on time. Or if I enter a building or something. Or at least leave this area. There's an item box over there, but we're not going to get that for quite a while. It's tempting, though. <laughs> Excuse you. So I have an herb shop. I don't recommend this. I would much rather have a Pokemon that would like me. But they... And they're expensive as heck, so don't even bother. Um, actually, you know what? Now that I'm kind of thinking about it. Oh, okay, never mind. Excuse me, fellow. The talk of spies loose in the yonder. Is it true? Oh, but have no fear. My Makuri here will clean up the spy problem. Let's come down here for a moment. Huh? You looking for an autograph? For me? The challenge champ? <laughs> Just looking around. All right. Well, I, well, I guess there was a Pokemon Center. All right. Let's kind of switch up the team a little bit. So do that. Maybe I'll bring Entei along just in case. Uh, who else do I want to bring with me? Um, uh, you know what? Level 32, so... Hmm. You know what? Sure. SP 
Spion Bunny, you did take a bit of a break. Let's see here. Welcome to the Under the Coliseum. The knockout challenge just ended a short while ago. I will start registering trainers for the next knockout challenge just as soon as Lady Venus finishes giving prizes to the winner. I've been in a Coliseum battle yet, but I'm always interested in the prize they give out. It throws me even thinking about what new Shadow Pokemon I get to see next. How do you like that? They openly give you Shadow Pokemon in this town. Don't mind us, and we'll just go upwards. Well, here's our way out. Not a moment too soon. Come back here real quick. Stock up on some more items. Alright. Uh, let's do that. And the rest of it will be timer balls. I kind of find like the potions in this game can be almost kind of useless. Easily probably hit the worst maintenance elevator someone should ever ride in their entire lives. If I remember correctly, now that I'm really thinking about it, I think there is something that we can help out with that old geezer later, but we'll see. Yeah, let me go, let me go! Shut up! It's hopeless, quit struggling! Now you can be a good boy, lie still! Who might you be? If you're a tourist, you're getting in our way. Go on, scram! Hold on! You two! You're not from around these parts, are you now? I get it. You came to rescue your pal here. You two are spies, too! <laughs> Cloak. Alright. Let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? But wait! We have a shadow Pokemon! Lady! <laughs> Tried in truth, this Pokemon sucks. What I hate the most about this Pokemon is that it tries so hard to be something that it's just not destined to be. On the plus side, it does have some pretty decent special defense and. Not with so much as any other conclusion that can be a good benefit. And you really want a Pokemon that knows Comet Punch, which is just another variation of Double Slap? Yeah, I don't think so. This thing sucks. In fact, there's some better bug types out later on. Ugh. In fact, there was a handful of bug types I got from earlier that could be of some good use for you, but. If you want to have a challenge, by all means, Swarm's okay for what it is, but you're not going to make any good benefit as that I use, and that's uh, of course, use of a Pokemon. And also, 5-star Pokemon 
more like one star Pokemon. Yeesh. That's even Volbeat is a good choice. Spinarak's also a better choice for that as well. <laughs> Oh, double team. Gal's gonna keep his spamming this, isn't she? Hmm. Oh, so now you have to start doing something. And did you just shoot rays out of your ass? Fun, I guess, and then again. Fuse Strike Hank can definitely be it's a good use of that, but it doesn't matter. A little bit of a scratch barely did much of anything, so we'll be fine. Level 36, Faint Attack. I'm gonna say get rid of Snatch for this one. Because Faint Attack is actually a pretty good move. But it's actually strong. Well, that's what happens when you underestimate me. Don't be too hasty about relaxing. I'm up next. Okay. Bring it. An Ariadosa and a Gnew. Okay. on the gloom. Go for a thunderbolt on the Ariados. Uh-oh. I know Umbreon's gonna be okay. Oh. Ooh, nice shade. Locked to doing 38 base damage. Yeah, we're good. Um, let's just do a faint attack. Be a little bit more strategic with this one. In the Mise. Well, that was a critical hit. Wow. Wolf. See if I can get it. Status problem. Come on, who's silver went? A bug variation of ancient power. Don't raise any of your stats. Thank God. It would be nice if we got paralyzed. That'd be great. Or not.
something to it. Illumise is a really nice defensive Pokemon. Not the best, but definitely up there. Oof. Something I should have done before, but no. Oh well. Ooh, go Mantine! Level 33. Very, very good. How could we lose? The both of us! We're out of our league against this guy. Alright. Wes! It's me, Silva! From Dukins! I discovered that they were bringing Shadow Pokemon to Pyrite from here. As far as I got when they caught me like this. But I did manage to filch this from them. Here you go. I think it's an item that's useful only to get here in the uh, in the under. Indeed it is. Alright. I would say before we do anything else. Go heal, and I highly suggest that you save. And I definitely want him to kind of figure things out about what team I should bring along with me. Because given enough of what we have that's coming up, it is not going to be friendly. I promise Pseudo Widow's not gonna have his time to shine. You know what? I think that time is gonna be coming. Um. All right. So, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and save really quick, and then we'll continue onward, alright? I'll be right back. And I'm back! Okay! Alright. We're going to want the R disk. That's gonna take us. To the right. Is there anything out of the ordinary over here? I think there's supposedly a hidden item around here. I don't think so. Okay. Going in. Okay, folks, we're ready to go on the air. Three rare candies. Especially confident in her rank profile. And they don't wander around the set. Testing, testing. The rain in the under is accompanied by thunder. Testing. 
You two. You're holding up the film shoot. We're about to begin filming. Wait. Who are you? Ah! I recognize those faces! Those faces were on the blacklist from headquarters. How did you find us? But that's not important now. I'll squash you myself and collect the reward from Master Nascour. We have a boss fight! Her first Pokemon! Del Caddy, level 45, your normal type! Cute charm with the ability! Attract Water Pulse Thunderbolt Double Edge! Steel X, level 45! Um, Steel Ground type, sturdy for the ability! With Attract Taunt Rock Slide Earthquake! Alright. I want to get rid of these guys! I need to get rid of these guys fast. I right, don't confuse me, please. Come on! All right. Okay. Yes. That's definitely not the weirdest thing I gotta deal with today. But yeah, her Pokemon are tough! Alright. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, why didn't I just use this on the Delicat and knock it out? Oh no. Oh, what? Okay. Alright. No biggie, no problem. Okay. Um. What if I try calling Pseudo Wood out? It's no good, it's not listening. Well, I just wasted a turn. Well, I tried. All right. Um, Beginium, get out there. In, in trying to attract a, your opponent, her opponents. Critical hit, nice. There goes one. And there goes the other. Game's level 38. Level 45 from the pure ghost type, Insomnia for the ability. With Attract, Curse, Side Beam, and Shadow Ball. Vile Plume, level 44. Grass Poison type with Chlorophyll for the ability. With uh, Attract, Stun Spore, Acid, and Giga Drain. Alright. I don't want to do much as they go against him with that Chlorophyll ability. Especially since the whole water now has a store. Alright. Triple kick. 
that's doing nothing. And to make matters worse, that's still technically counted as a physical attack, and Bayonet is a great physical sweeper. Or physical attacker. Gotta retreat. The second burst, same as the first on this one. At least I can handle with that attack. Okay. Who are you using that on? Oh, okay. Alright. You know what? No, I, I can't do that. Go for a razor leaf. It's her last Pokemon that I'm worried about. Speaking of which, <laughs> I like how it is just kind of like that. All right, now it's why I suggested that you save her last Pokemon, Sweetcoon, level. 40! Pure water type! Pressure for the ability! Shadow Rush! Leer! Gust! Surf! And if you couldn't tell him from that, we have a Shadow Pokemon! Suicune! Being the defensive member of the Legendary Beast! This thing is a no-pushover! It's not going to be the fastest out of them all, but it's definitely something that you should be concerned about. All around, this is a Pokemon that is greater for with use of that rain dance and a dead over the gumbo once you get it purified. In fact, this is rival to only one other that is greater with the use of the rain dance and for the field. The real big thing to really watch out for is the fact that that, that pressure is definitely one that to be taken into consideration. And it's only meant him to be a pretty good wall. Not much uh, needs to be said about that. Only ever see this as a wall. It's got some really nice moves, but unfortunately, this is about for where the real positives are for Suicune end. As much as I really love this Pokemon and to give it such a good graces, this is sadly a Pokemon that works in such weird ways that I actually consider this to be a Abysmal and it's a race. Purify this when you can, and it'll be a fantastic user of the Rain Dance TM as it is. Special since that Surf gets that same type of attack bonus, and because of that, with interest. Ugh. All right. Right. All right. That should just about do it. Okay. Um, so let's go into this. Let's go and start. Um, yeah, let's try a timer ball on this one. And I think what I'll do then, I'll switch out Meganium for. All right. I know I have Ampharos. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll switch up into Man Time so I can at least have something that can resist and that's Sir. 
one! Trust me, this weekend's gonna be hard to catch. And the fact that it's gonna be using Shadow Rush is going to be a bit of an issue because it's gonna keep doing recoil damage. Try an Ultra Ball. And let's heal up as well. There we go. Snag Ball set. Fire! Initiating capture sequence. One. Two. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's a good thing that the recoil damage is locked into a specific amount. I think it takes like what, 1 16th out of the maximum HP. Let's try another one. Be stupid and just call the man time. Alright. Here we go. One. You know, I'm kind of surprised you're not using any of your other moves, because I think you should have Surf and Gus. Why are you not using it? Alright. Let's try another one. I guess we could give you a lemonade. Alright. Snag ball set. Fire! Initiating capture sequence. One, two, three! Ah! You know, now that I'm on the subject with the timer balls, it's a good thing in that these things got a pretty sizable buff in the fourth generation, because I think in, the, in this particular generation, the only way for him to reach it is true potentials at like, what, 20 turns? Gonna have one that kind of matches your colors a little bit better. I mean, sure, you have a more purple than red, but it's the thought that matters. I've only just got a few more turns left. Let's try another timer ball. Then maybe we'll switch out to the Meganium. Because I'm very surprised that it's not using any other moves. Because, you know, it's got Gus, it's got Surf, it's got all that. One, two, three! Oh no! Oh no. Oh no, I think it's gonna go down the very next turn. Or this. Oh well, it's a good thing I saved beforehand, so I'll take care of this one off screen, so. It's not gonna be the end of the world. So glad that didn't go out live on the air! Joke's on you! I got you recorded myself. Oh no, Lady Venus was knocked down! Run away! Hey, how 
dare you? How could I be bested by a mere boy? Remember this. I'll get you back for this. Sure, sure. Whatever you say. Alright, let's see. Final report. Some interesting discoveries that were made about the purification process. There are several ways to cause the opening in the hard hardened door, and the resulting effects appear to differ with the original nature of the Pokemon. Also, as the purification process advances, the Shadow Pokemon regains its moves and its original nature. When the purification process is complete, the Pokemon regain all the experience points it has accumulated, plus even enough to level up. By effectively using these features, it may be possible to create even more powerful Shadow Pokemon. TM45, that's a tract. Oh man, at least it was okay for how it lasted. But, oh well. Whoops, there were other spies? You're not getting past me! I really don't have time for this crap. Rina and a Gligar. Oh, my team is healed! Sweet! At least I think they were. Uh-oh! Shadow Pokemon! Wasn't quite fully prepared for this, but oh well. Gligar! A very interesting ground flying type. Even though that it weighs a lot, how the heck is this anything he even being able to fly? But I digress. This is a very interesting Pokemon that works in probably one of the weirdest ways. It has an immunity to electric, which is very nice. Um, Hypercutter and Sandvale are pretty decent as it is, but in this case scenario, I would probably think that Sandvale is probably better. Especially since in this game is consistent with double battles. But what's interesting is that it actually has some pretty decent poison type moves in it for when it levels up. This is also sadly a case scenario of a Pokemon that I wish evolved in this game. As much as it pains me to admit it, I think having a Glide score on the team would be great. The only other real big negative to really watch out for is that it has some very notable weaknesses with water and ice. And even though that you won't encounter much ice types in this game, there are water types everywhere. So pick your poison. See what I did there. But you're not really gonna be getting much out of this one because as I said, this will be a good chance of a scenario of a Pokemon that I wish evolved in this game. Alright. Fortunately, Gligar is going to be easier to catch, unlike that sweet from earlier. One! Two! Can be a badass one. Okay. Yes, please make yourself a lot weaker. Let's try another one. Sorry, Yuki. Keep controls on these have always had a bit a little bit. Control. 
One, two, three. There we go. Gligar's mine. <laughs> Kitty Yersa. It's a good thing that you're not a part poison type. Otherwise, that would be a problem for me. But. For all this, I guess it's almost over. Alright, let's just get rid of that Jigglypuff. We'll pretty much bring the rain. Eight tears! for triple kick. Critical hit may be pointless, but I don't care. Gimme. Hey Tom, I'm on top of level 40, which is great. I'm not supposed to lose. I won the Coliseum Challenge. What? Did you win through lying and cheating with a shadow Pokemon? If you mean to me, I'm going to cry, okay? Ah! But I want to cry. Eh, whatever. Alright. I gotta fall back. I need to make some changes. Which is something that I probably would say... But that's actually not going to be the case. Instead... I'm actually going to go ahead and end things off from right here. We've got a bit of a nice stopping point as it is. I'll get that his sweet coon off screen. And maybe I'll work on it a little bit later on as it is. So... With all that said and done, next time on her Pokemon Coliseum... We continue to head, head further down of where we face off and have against into that one chick. And then we'll try to go after um, Venus. See you guys then!